Hi, Earth Signs. This is Mary with Leo Sunlight Insight. Here to do a special bonus reading for you. What's coming in for you for 2020? So this is for Earth, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. So this is Mary. This is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you for coming back. So let's see what we have coming in for you, uh, Earth Signs, for 2020. So this is a new uh, reading I'm doing. It's element bonus readings um, every month. So please leave um, a comment below. Let me know what kind of bonus readings you would like to see. I want to make them, them different from the readings I already do. So for this one, I figured I'd do what's coming in for 2020 since we're going into 2020. But I can do any kind of love bonus reading. I can do uh, what needs healing in your life, life changes, transformational messages. Um, I could do like a little bit of a past life reading. Um, anything you have in mind, whatever kind of reading, you know, reading about your ex, so, you know, reading will they come towards me, what's blocking them, what's going on with them, um, whatever, whatever you like to see. You know, I have some ideas written down, but I'd rather ask you guys so that you can tell me and then I can do readings based on what you would like to see. So please leave some comments below. Let me know. All right, so Earth, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Welcome, welcome. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. So let's see. Uh, we got three oracles here. You can check the description box below. I'm going to pull a couple oracles from each deck. Wow, okay. And um, clarify with some tarot. So if you would like to know the decks I'm using, they are listed below. Tons of information down in the description box. Uh, how to book a personal reading. Decks I'm using, social media. I'm on Instagram. I do readings on Instagram also. All right, so let's see. I have a Facebook page, uh, Leo Sunlight Insight also. All right, so let's see what's coming in for the Earth signs for 2020. What's going on spirit let's give earth the messages they need to hear for 2020 what's coming in for you earth signs for 2020 all right let's get a couple from this deck and we'll go over your messages we'll clarify with tarot all right earth signs virgo taurus and capricorn couple messages for the earth signs what's coming in for them i'm feeling those two for 2020 all right let's see what we have what's going on for the earth signs oh we got reversals i don't do reversals in this deck so we have anxiety here in one and eight is nine which is about can be about stress anxiety kind of energy and then we have appreciation one and five, which is six. So six is a very healing, balancing number also. So I feel like with this, um, I mean, there may be something you're stressing about, that you're nervous about, you have anxiety over. It could be lessons that you went through, uh, some challenge you went through maybe this year. But I think going into the next year, you're going to learn, you're going to know those valuable, valuable lessons that you need to learn. And whatever your situation was, you're really just going to appreciate the good things, um, the good parts of it, and the valued lessons that you've learned. But we're gonna clarify this more with tarot. So we'll see, we'll see where that's going. And then we have here Rotochrosite. Be gentle with yourself. You've been through a lot and need time to heal and recover. Wow. So I had just said that maybe you you know, going through something or you've been through something. Um but then we have Moonstone, Heightened Intuition. Be extra aware of your inner knowingness as it is trustworthy. So this is really telling you to trust your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing. I just did the air signs reading and that came out heavy in their reading. So now you're getting it too. So uh, really you could be getting heightened intuition, being, being more in tune and touch with that energy. It's telling you to really pay attention to that. And also to be, take care of yourself. Don't be hard on yourself. Be gentle with yourself. Um, and take time to heal. It's okay to feel and go through all that energy and uh, heal from that. So let's see. 
So we have solitude. So I believe this is the hermit energy. So this is, again, going within, you know, doing that inner journey and soul work, thinking hard and deep, you know, about those lessons, those trials, those tribulations, and really doing that uh, deep thinking and inner soul work. Wow. So maybe going, maybe going solo next year, the hermit. It's about going solo, solitude. So some of you, and I got that heavy in the air sign reading also. So some of you may be going uh, solo in the coming year here. We have, wow, rest and rejuvenation. So again, so we got that twice here with healing. And the four of swords energy here is all about that rest, rejuvenating, taking some time alone. It's almost like the minor of the hermit here. So I feel like some of you will be going uh probably going on a solo journey coming next year, you know, and maybe you're a little nervous about that going alone or going on a solo journey. If you're getting out of a relationship or whatever your situation here. Um, but I do see rest, recuperation, healing energy, and, you know, just being gentle with yourself and appreciating, you know, what you've been through, the lessons you've learned know what you have gotten out of that whatever it was for you just appreciating that and maybe people will appreciate you more also coming up in the next year also and the appreciation there she almost reminds me of like the empress energy so you could be a mother um or could have to do something with your mother if she's still you know with us all right, so let's clarify here for the earth signs. So we got the page of wands. Justice. Okay, so, you know, the page of wands can be about good news coming in. It can be about fiery, passionate, exciting communication, uh, offers coming in, or that sort of energy. But you have justice here. So you may be getting some good news that has to... Uh, do with something in the justice system uh, maybe uh, whatever you're going through if there's something going on and you're waiting on results or news or something like that uh, whatever it may be for you in the justice system I think this is the good news coming in you know and maybe you're stressed and worried about this like you know I don't know what's gonna happen you know but I think you're really gonna appreciate whatever comes in here for you I think justice will be served, good news, and you're really going to appreciate um, whatever comes in for you. So that's a good energy. So if you've been, you know, something going on, uh, I see fair, just, balance, good news. So we got the King of Swords energy. So, you know, this could be a lawyer. This could be someone in law enforcement. Um, could be a wise counsel, advisor. Something here, yeah, something here, King of Swords, coming in with truth and clarity and good news about a fair and just uh, decision here. So that's good energy. So whatever you're waiting on here, I see it coming in for you um, next year. So, okay, I just had a card fly. got to get that. So now we have the Queen of Pentacles. Wow, and that's your energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So this is could have to do with monetary results or something of that matter, but this is Queen of Pentacles. So this is being secure, stable, um, not having to worry, having abundance. So I think whatever you're waiting on results, good news will come in, and now you're very stable and abundant here. So some of you could be waiting on some sort of monetary uh, settlement or something like that. And I think it's going to go in your favor and you're going to be uh, sitting pretty and not have to worry. So we do have death here. So this is about, um, yeah, something ending, something coming to an end. Like finally you're waiting, you're waiting, you're stressed, you're nervous, this, you know, stress, anxiety, but now... No more waiting. That finally comes to an end. And now you can transform because you got this good news coming in, something going in your favor. And now you can transform your life. So something here is going to enable you to transform your life and have a lot. And you see the um, 
card there with um, appreciation has a lot of growth and abundance on it. So, wow, okay, our signs. All right, so let's see what Be Gentle With Yourself and Heightened Intuition. The, all these messages may not be for everybody. I mean, this could also be about waiting on um, a job offer or something like that, um, and you end up getting the job. So, all right, what do we have here? We got three. So we got the Eight of Cups. So, you know, you could be walking away from something here, but you could always walk to something more fulfilling. So, yeah, we got the Ten of Pentacles. So total growth, abundance in every single way, never having to worry, never having to worry. <clears throat> And we got, now we got the Eight of Pentacles. So, you know, this could be, this is about work. So maybe you've been working hard. Maybe you've worked hard all your life. You worked hard. You worked hard. Maybe something happened in, in your work situation that had to go to the legal um, matters or something here. But now it's like, you know, I'm walking away from working so hard in, you know, my life. This comes in for you, which gives you the settlement or whatever you're waiting here for. And now you have total growth abundance. And it's like, I don't have to work so hard anymore. I can walk away from that energy of working two, three jobs, whatever, doing what I have to do to get by. Now I can walk away from that energy because I have all this abundance now that's coming for me. Wow. So are some of you are walking away from a job that you, you know, you worked hard on? Um, and if this is a new job offer coming in, I feel like you won't have to work so hard. Um, and you're going to be making a lot more money. So how, however, however that, um, resonates for you and would that be gentle with yourself? That could be about, you know, like working yourself to death here. Now it's time to just relax, take a break, you know, as with the rest and rejuvenate there and going, you know, in that solitude energy, maybe taking a vacation or not working for a while while you recuperate. But then I think something's coming in for you where you don't really have to worry about your finances either. So let's get, um, and you know, something that listening to your intuition. So uh, that could be just a separate message. So really needing to listen to that. You know, is this the right thing for me to do to, you know, maybe if you have this settlement or something coming in, it's like, do I leave my job or do I continue to work? I mean, you could even win the lottery. I mean, something here which is going to enable your finances and not really, not really going to have to worry. And I think some of you are going to debate whether or not to walk away from your job because of whatever this is coming in for you. So I think you're going to have to listen to your intuition. See, because I placed the eight of pentacles here. This is about working hard under intuition. So you're really going to have to really listen, uh, listen to your gut and your intu intuition about if you should uh, continue working or not. So that's going to be totally up to you. But let's see what else do we have here. Eight of Swords. Yeah, you're going to be <laughs> mentally trapped and bound. Like, I don't know what to do. Do I continue working or do I quit or leave my job? Because now I have some sort of settlement or something came into me. Um, I don't really have to work. But what if, you know, maybe I should. What if I you know, lose, you know, what if I don't have enough? What if I lose this or whatever here? I think you're going to get two eights here. So that's, you know, eights is all about taking action movement. So the eight of swords is having that mental entrapment about this. So let's get one more page of swords. So, so whatever you decide to do, I think you're going to take quick action. The page of swords is about open, honest, truthful communication, um, coming in, uh, it can be rumors, gossip, that kind of energy. You know, maybe people are talking behind your back, um, because you, they like, could be saying, oh, why is she still working? She don't need to work. And what is she doing here? Blah, 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 blah. It could be that kind of energy. Uh, that could be you just standing up, telling your truth, just saying, you know what? I'm done. I quit, whatever. Um, uh, that's very open, honest, truthful communication there with the page of swords. Um, so I think, uh, in the long run, uh, you'll decide what you want to do here. Some may just speak their truth. Um, some of you may leave a job. You feel like you don't have to work anymore. You feel like I've worked so hard all my life, like work myself to death. So some of you may just end up 
not working anymore because you don't really have to. So however that resonates for you. So over here we have Solitude and Rest and Rejuvenation. Wow. So we got the Four of Swords on the Four of Swords. Wow. I can't make this up. So yeah, I think some of you will decide here to just go off on your own and rest and recuperate, rejuvenate, you no know, heal, uh, think and contemplate, you know, certain things. Or you may take a break here. Maybe you'll take an extended vacation while you think about, you know, returning to work or returning to something. It could also be about quitting a job and finding a new job if you feel like, you know, you just don't uh, belong there anymore or it's just not serving you anymore. If you've been thinking about walking away from that, you may just take an extended break here to really think uh, about this. And I feel some of you will apply for another job and get that job and leave a job no longer serving you. But I think you'll, if you do that, I think you should take some, take some time in between. Um, maybe like, I don't want to say a month, but that's kind of what I'm getting <laughs> or at least a few weeks judgment. So yeah, needing to make a decision, judgment call here coming up in 2020. So needing to make a decision, judgment call, uh, about this whole situation. And that could be all this resting, rejuvenating, uh, inner journey, soul work that you're doing is really trying to make a decision here. So big decisions coming up for you next year. What else for the earth signs? The hangman. Yeah. So again, we're taking a pause, a break, kicking back, relaxing, looking at the broad perspective of all things, you know, just kind of going with the flow, just seeing what happens, where it goes before you make this final decision, you know, until you become totally enlightened here, what you truly want and need to do and really listening to your gut and intuition about that three swords so you know it's pain hurt uh kind of energy so i mean it could be that wherever whatever situation whatever happened that led to something that had to go to the justice system i think there was a lot of pain and hurt here involved with the three of swords any energy i'm getting like a deceitful maybe something bad happen or some sort of uh, deceitful energy or something like that. Something wasn't right. So backstabbing kind of energy, um, something. And uh, I think that's that three of swords energy. So let's get one more seven of cups. So again, with like choices, decisions, being a little confused, foggy energy um, options. So yeah. So a lot of energy here of just like looking at all yeah, your options, your pros and cons, thinking back, reflecting, and ha really needing to make a judgment call here for some of you. Heavy energy about some sort of monetary coming in for you that's going to enable you to maybe not even have to work anymore. Or, you know, if you're working two jobs, maybe just working one job or part-time or something like that. But you're really going to have to... Think long and hard here about, you know, making those plans, decisions for your future. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have the Knight of Swords. This is swift action here. So I feel like you, once you decide here what you truly want to do here in your situation, I think you're going to move swiftly. The Knight of Swords moves forward very quickly. Fast action here. So yes, yeah, taking a leap of faith with the full energy, leaping right in resetting kind of resetting at zero it's like you're going to be free to do whatever you want i mean some of you could have a big like windfall coming in that you've been waiting on and now you can reset at zero and you can just do whatever you want now yeah independent i feel like some of you may be uh, on your own coming up in the next year but nine of pentacles is being stable and grounded on your own independent having everything you need you don't really have to worry Having, you know, abundance and everything totally fulfilled on your own and independent energy. So that's what I feel. Some of you may be going solo or uh, you could be, could have been single for a while here. But this is telling you again with that nine, you have the ten of pentacles. Um, yeah, something going in your favor, which is, may in, enable you here to have like a whole new lease on life. Whole new beginning. And I think you're going to be financially set 
for a long time, maybe even the rest of your life or the next 10 to like 20 years. So I see a lot of big changes in that aspect for you, uh, earth signs. Wow, earth signs. So I hope that resonated for you. Um, so if you do like how I read, uh, you can please do like, share, subscribe, comment, check out my channel. I do a lot of different readings. If you like what you see, please feel free to subscribe. And if you do, thank you so much. Thank you everybody for your support. Like I said, leave comments below. Um, what kind of bonus readings you'd like to see every month, whether they're love, general, angel messages, past life, anything you want, I can do whatever you want. So, so sending you uh, the best here, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel is to always, always shine your light.